We're here again then at a circuit famous for its stunning visuals and thrilling battles for glory. Who will take the spotlight in the Bahrain Grand Prix today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at turn one, of course, and then another soon into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of turn 10. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great podium in the last race. So can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have the owner driver, Bottas, Charles Leclerc, and Perez, Albon, Vettel, Gasly, and Nobuharu Matsushita, Stroll, Ricardo, Carlos Sainz, and Kvyat, Norris, Ocon, Roman Grosjean, and Kevin Magnussen, De Vries, Latifi, Russell, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. go the Bahrain Grand Prix will it be repeat at the last race Max Verstappen did okay but what a start by myself oh can we get into first place we've got a great slipstream oh Max Verstappen has lost two positions off the start it is a battle between myself and Lewis Hamilton Lewis is trying to make up for the last race Bottas once again falls into fourth place he's under pressure by the Ferraris the rest of the field doesn't look like there's any incidents at the moment, which is great. Nobuharu, can he score a point? He's got a great chance. This is Nobuharu's chance to score some points. Our team have got the car. We've, we've definitely got the chance to do it. He can do it, but he's under pressure already. He's already losing positions. And he's already falling back from the racing point. It's still the same at the front at the moment. The Alpha Tour is once again proving to have a great start. They've got a decent car. They're definitely competing with the Ferraris in this race. I think this season is going to be between Hidden Leaf, Mercedes and Red Bull for the top three positions of the constructors. Well, it'll be between Red Bull and Mercedes if Nabuharu doesn't up his game. For the other positions, I think there is going to be a straight up fight for 4th and 5th place. I think it's, it's going to be a battle between McLaren, Alfa Tori, Ferrari, Racing Point, Renault. I think it's quite a battle. How close it is. We're going to get quite a few battles here. Oh, look how close Max is to Hamilton. Did he just back Max into Bottas there? He may have done. I am blaming him. Once again, though, I have done exactly what I said I was going to do. A great start, and then I can just defend from there. I know my car isn't as good as these. It's not the fastest, but I am good at defending. I'm very aggressive. Some sections on different tracks, I'm quicker than Hamilton and Max Verstappen. But this is going to be a challenge. It's going to be harder to defend on this track than it was in Australia early but can I actually get two wins two wins on a trot very wide I could lead Hamilton to make a move Hamilton's pulling away from Max Maybe it's just on the straights that Mercedes have got the edge over Red Bull. I know Red Bull have good aero. Here we go, he's going to catch me here. He might be a bit too far back. 
Yeah, look how close. He just gets so close to me at the end. It's just ridiculous. Noble horror we need to prove himself. Let's go to the back. And Williams miles behind. That is Latifi as usual at the very back of the grid. Everyone else is seemed to be bunching up a bit again. George Russell, he's doing fantastic again in the Williams. Whether or not he'll stay there, whether or not his teammate can actually catch up. We'll see at the end of the race. And Baharu seems to be holding up quite a few members. I think after the pit stops, I think positions are going to change. I don't think Nobuharu is going to stay in that position. McLaren aren't doing very well, are they? Come on, Nobuharu. All these want your position. I'm surprised Alban hasn't been able to overtake him yet. They're like, he's in like the third, maybe second best team. Here we go. No, oh, Nabuharu, very, very good with his defensive moves there. Still managing to keep faster teams behind him. When I say faster, I'll need Red Bull. I won't say fast, actually, no. Red Bull have better aero than us, but when it comes to speed, we are faster. He's just got to get onto the strikes. Alfa Tori battling with the racing point, once again proving that last se the end of last season was not a fluke. Bottas, is he going to do better than he has done in the last few races? Uh, last season he didn't really prove himself to be worthy of the number two role. He's qualifying well, it's just his racing. Max being completely outnumbered here against the Mercedes. Seeming Albon is nowhere, absolutely nowhere in this race. You can see how the front guys are just pulling ahead now. I'm not holding them up really because, yeah, they're still stuck behind me and they're trying to overtake me. Hamilton's trying his absolute best. As you can see, it's getting close. Is he going to do it? But if you look, there's myself, Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Bottas, Leclerc. And then there's a quite a big gap to the next driver. This is a top five battle. Is Hamilton gonna make his move? He's trying to he's getting closer and closer each lap. He had a look at the last one, will he do it this time? I really need a better teammate, don't I? I need Nobuharu to start performing. Anybody joining me in the pits? No? Oh, I'm gone. Alpha Tori. Have we done the right thing pitting early?
and we come out just ahead of last place. Now we got a push. Oh, hang on, bit of smoke there. Someone's retiring. Oh, it's a Renault. A Renault has retired. I thought I saw smoke. Everyone's bunching up again. The McLarens. The Vettel. And Alvin all trying to get past Noble Hall. Ooh. I've, I just I feel sorry for him. I, I think he's out of his element here. Did I do the right thing in keeping him in the team? I'm hoping, hoping that he can score some points maybe in the next race if he doesn't do it here. Might give him a bit of a boost. It's all I can help for anyway. It's Hamilton coming in. Yeah, Hamilton's in the pits. And Max Verstappen, Bottas and Leclerc continue. Albon is in as well. No, he's not. Sorry, that's Max Verstappen in. Oh, that was nearly a crash. That's really close between Max and the racing court. I think that was Perez. And I'm back out in front. Oh, and Alpha Tori separates them. Can you believe it? That's for position. Oh, it's a Williams. Oh, that's even worse for Max. That is even worse. That is for position. That Williams is going to slow him down. If it was an Alpha Tori, I know the Alpha Tori wouldn't really slow him down as much, but the Williams will. Let's go through the field quickly. There it is, the leader, Bottas. He really needs to push it. He needs to go as fast. He needs to set a, the fastest lap he's ever set to get ahead of Hamilton, at least. He's got a chance of getting ahead of Verstappen as well. That is his main target. But if he really pushes it, he could get ahead of Hamilton. Here he comes, and Leclerc. I don't think I've ever seen anyone jump another driver in the pits. Not in this game anyway. Oh, and here we go. In the prop, in the real lead now. I was in the lead in theory, but now I am definitely in the lead. Hamilton is in second, Bottas third, Leclerc fourth. Oh, what a bad result for Max. He is in fifth place now. Oh, that is terrible. What a bad result for Max. That is really hasn't worked out for him at all, has it? There he is, last place. Well done. You're still in the race. Williams are starting to fall. Yeah, look. George is starting to fall behind now. He's only got the Alpha Tour, the Alpha Romeo's batting with him. I'm already missing Kimi Raikkonen after he retired at the end of last season. Alpha and May, I'm just going to get further and further behind, aren't they? Now they have lost their lead driver. Come on, I want to see some position change here. Come on, Magnussen, you replaced Kimi for a reason. He retired, they needed someone good. Can you do it? Your replacement, Nick De Fraser, that has, is doing better than you. Come on, you've got to get past George Russell. The Williams are the worst team. I don't think anything's going to change at the back. Oh, what a lock-up. Here we go. 
back to the last point position. Nobuharu, a chance to score in the points. After those pit stops, he's found himself in the point. He has still managed to keep Alburn, Vettel and Perez behind him. Can he do it? This is the sort of performance I want to see from him defensively. The beginning he wasn't doing great, but the pits have worked out for him. Come on, Nobuharu. Come on, you can do it. Here we are. Lance Stroll battling with the Alpha Tori. And that's Kvyat. These are doing quite well. Just to he they're quite a far ahead of the last point position battle. Oh, that's Perez. Perez is already headed, so it's Lance Stroll that's stuck behind him at the moment. That's fantastic. So he's got Perez and Kvyat ahead, and then further ahead you've got Max Verstappen battling with Leclerc, he's still stuck behind him, followed following Bottas, oh Bottas is pulling ahead now. And Bottas is on his own really, Hamilton's pulling ahead and he's battling with myself for the and for the race lead. And we go back through the grid again and not many positions have changed, in fact none have changed. Everybody's still stuck. The battle for the last few points is heating up. Can any of them get past Nobuharu? He has defended. He's come out the pits, managed to get ahead into the points. He didn't start off very well, but he's managed to get himself into a bit of a groove. This is his chance to score points. Come on, Nobuharu, you can do it. I think if one person gets past him, I think that's just going to open the floodgates. Come on, you can do it, Nobuharu. They're like flies around poop. Exciting. Oh, I don't think he's going to do this, is he? I think if it was Max behind him, he would have got past him by now. Because it's Albon. Uh, Albon's just not been good, has he, really? I think Red Bull will end up replacing him. Stroll, Vettel, Norris, Sainz. I'm going to stay with this just for a little bit more just because I want to see what's going to happen I can see at the very front I don't think anything's going to change between the top five unless there's an engine failure I think that is the top five but this this is this is going to change isn't it the, oh Nabuharu just hasn't got the pace he's defending well but Red Bull are just too quick
I think this is it. Oh. No. Still no. Oh, he had a look then. He actually had, had a look. I think that's the first time in a little while that Albert's finally had a look at the position. Can he actually make the move though? The world is watching you, Albert. Can you do it? Come on, Nabahara, these are going to be your first points. Think of it, your very first points. straight oh look how close he is this has got to be it now come on Nabaharu come on you've got to prove yourself here he's making it easy how Alban hasn't got past him yet I don't have no, no idea how he hasn't got past him yet so many opportunities Battling at the front now positions. Yeah, everyone else is still in the same positions. It's just Kvyat and Perez that seems to be having an interesting fight. Dominating race. Let's get through. See if hopefully no one's managed to change position yet. Here we go. Let's get to it quick. Yeah, here we go. This battle is heating up. We haven't missed anything going. Oh, he's locked up. Nabaharu is locked up. This is the chance. This is it. Oh, no. Nabaharu, you did so well. At one position. Oh, Stroll. Stroll hit the back of him. And Strauss forced his way around as well. Oh no, he's dropping. He's dropping back. Oh no, and now Vettel. Oh, the floodgates have opened. The floodgates have opened. Nobuharu is at the point. He did so well. Yeah, that's it now. Let's carry on to the rest. Verstappen is still behind Leclerc Bottas is still in third Hamilton still in second but here I am looks like this is going to be two out of two been a fantastic race for myself so bad for Nobuharu I feel so bad for him he did so well he tried his best anyway but what can I say Win number two. Boom. and a resounding victory today what set them apart from the rest I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving nailing the corners working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies they got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves
Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. What a so win. Let's review the that was a great stage. race. Our current championship leader dominated the track, securing a win and further increasing their advantage. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Ah, it's Piers Gasly. I thought it was Kvyat. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at Oh, Nabuharu. You nearly did it. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Nick DeFries finally well, lost out at the end. an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. The Magnussen is finishing ahead of Giovinazzi as well nowadays, which is, it's, it's, it's good. It's good for Magnussen. We're beating Vettel. I think he's getting closer to a point. I think that race there really showed his ambition. I think he's he stepped up. I'm hoping he does it in the next race as well. Money from the sponsors is a big, big help. Gens are looking good right now. I think we've got room for some more investment. Oh, thank you very much. China next, isn't it? Yeah. That's another race which... Uh, I could do okay, but Mercedes kind of had my number in that one there. Straight line speed just... Just did me in on that one. I fought hard. Maybe Nabuharu can do better in that one. Sort our, our team out. Yep, upgrade everything. Let's do it. I don't think I can afford anybody. Even at the end of the season, it's going to be hard. Uh, I just thought the next race is one I'm not going to be looking forward to. Vietnam. I am not good at Vietnam at all. I thought it was China first, but it's not. It's Vietnam, isn't it? Okay, the next race is going to be an absolute shambles. You probably won't see much of me because I won't be racing well at all. I just cannot do Vietnam. Some tracks I'm awesome at and some i'm absolutely terrible and vietnam is one of those tracks i just can't do it so but I, I do my best with the, with racing with the controller i haven't got a steering wheel i got a controller so i do my best with it but vietnam i just can't get to grips with this track i wish i could just delete it if i could i would delete the track get rid of it altogether that it's definitely the worst track for me. If the standards right now, they're going to change dramatically after Vietnam because I don't think I'll even score a point. But you will see a race. You'll see a very good one. Even if I'm languishing at the back, you will see. You will see a race at the front between whoever's leading it. So there'll definitely be a different winner in the next race. I am probably going to finish dead last by an absolute mark. Maybe not a horrible score a point in the race I do crap in. Fingers crossed. Come on, not horrible. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you at Vietnam.
entire development package for this weekend has failed. Check your R&D screen to order any redevelopments. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed the quality control. Make sure you indicate what you'd like redeveloped via the R&D screen.